State of Kansas is starting the new year, changing lives for children and families diagnosed with two rare diseases. And as KNBC 9's Donna Pittman shows us, the state now joins 23 others in the country, not just changing, but saving lives. So good year for Kansas. Good year for Kansas. Talk to Kenzie Anderson with the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. It's hard to argue otherwise. Starting January 1st, the state began screening newborn babies for two different lysosomal storage disorders, Pompe disease and Hurler syndrome. Because both of these conditions can present with symptoms in infancy or later in adulthood, even, even as late as 60, 70 years old. Both are rare, both can be life-threatening, but both are treatable. One of the, the conditions of being added to the National Recommended Uniform Screening Panel is that it has an effective treatment that is, um, in particular, effective when the condition is identified early. Today, Kansas screens babies for 34 of the 35 conditions recommended by the national panel. It isn't just the newborns who benefit. Often, older siblings are diagnosed after baby. It's not just the babies that we're screening that are going to be helped by adding these conditions. It's families as a whole and siblings that maybe didn't get screened. Um, it's pediatricians that are going to be more aware of the conditions and be able to identify them later on down the road. All of this changing the trajectory of potentially thousands of lives. I think it's very exciting. I, I love it. Um, I'm really proud of our state. I'm really proud of our state. Already a good year for Kansas indeed. Donna Pittman, KNBC 9 News. Of course, these things take time, right? Kansas has worked for years with doctors, parents, and labs to try and determine the benefits of adding Pompe disease and Hurler system to syndrome to its panel. Uh, more than 32,000 newborns are screened in the state every single year.